Hey, what's going on, y'all? My name is Dakota. Thanks for watching Tennessee Ray. Today we got a doozy for you. This is the Phoenix Redback Ultralight Single Action Only. This made by Phoenix, which is in Switzerland, imported by the Attic in North Dakota. This is a single action only CZ type pistol, but like I said, it's made in Switzerland. It's a very fine, fine pistol. Uh, holds 17 rounds, single action only. I think the trigger pulls about two and a half to three pounds. And uh, this thing's freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and get into the review. broke out the shot timer we're gonna do a modified build drill here at seven yards see how this Phoenix Redback ultralight does it's a season target uh, we'll try to stay in the center of it it's steel you know how it works we'll see how it does two two one We got enough ammo to do another one. Let's do it again. Oh, that was gonna be quick too. I delayed that last round. There's a 229, 229. All right, y'all, we're back from the range, checking out this Phoenix Redback Ultralight. This is the single action only model. Now, Let's talk about Phoenix, the brand. So if you remember about 10 years ago, there was a company called Sphinx that was based out of Switzerland and they were making CZ-75 type pistol. About 2015 or so, they went out of business and had to stop production. A few years later, they had a rebranding basically, had to come up with a new name for legal reasons and rising out of the ashes like a phoenix that's where they got this name so it's a pretty cool story behind the name phoenix i'm glad that they're producing austin pistols and did you hear me say they're made in switzerland yeah so i want you to take a second and think about watches if you know anything about watches now you may be thinking dakota why are we talking about watches this is a gun video come on man i'm not here to listen to you talk about watches but let's talk about watches where are the finest, most precise, most accurate, most consistent, best timekeeping watches made? In Switzerland, why? Because they have the best machining, they do everything perfect, they don't like to make mistakes, and if it is a mistake, they won't put it out. And I love that. And the same thing applies for this Phoenix Redback here. This thing is machined perfectly, you can tell the craftsmanship that goes into the making this pistol just by feeling it, just by running the slide, there's no grit. It feels absolutely smooth like butter. The trigger is phenomenally crisp. It breaks right around three pounds. And man, oh man, it, everything about this pistol just feels great. Okay, I'm gonna stop ranting. Let's go ahead and dive into the specs and features. Talk about this thing, top to bottom, and uh, I'll tell you what you need to know about this thing. So the ultralight model has a stainless steel slide, an aluminum frame, and aluminum grip. Yes, I said aluminum frame and aluminum grip because those are actually two separate pieces. I want to take a second and talk about comparing this to a 2011 style pistol. So a 2011 has the slide, obviously, and then the frame, and then the grip module attaches to the frame so you could change grip modules out if you wanted to. This is designed fairly similarly to 2011 type pistols, but it's based off of a CZ-75 
type platform or action. And I think that's extremely innovative. I think that that's very forward thinking. Uh, it also gives them the option, them being Phoenix, to create the heavy and the light. So the heavy, for example, is a stainless steel slide, a stainless steel frame, and a stainless steel grip. And it comes in right around three pounds, whereas this ultralight comes in around two pounds. These pistols are imported from Switzerland, obviously. So they come through the only importer, which is the Attic in Minot, North Dakota, also known as the Sportsman's Loft. So I appreciate you guys sending me this pistol for the review. The Attic really, man, you guys hooked me up. Uh, I can't thank you enough. They sent me this thing. I didn't pay for it. I didn't get it from Phoenix. This is a model off the shelf out of the box it's not been doctored this is how they come if you were to buy one so let's go ahead and dive into it it has fiber optic front sight blacked out serrated rear sight that's adjustable for elevation and for windage i already mentioned it's got a stainless steel slide but the slide serrations are phenomenal they grab your hand uh, you don't have to worry about slipping off of this slide it also has the serration lines down the top so that you don't have any glare when you're looking at the sights so it's got about a four and a half inch barrel and this one specifically is chambered in nine millimeter if you go down from there, I already mentioned that it's a CZ75 type action. So it has the internal slide rails. The slide actually sits inside the frame instead of sitting around the frame. I always loved that design. It gets the bore axis nice and low, helps tame that recoil a little bit. It's more of a push instead of a snap. Going down from there, it's got a lightened hammer and the trigger brake is like right at three pounds, man. It's super crisp, it's phenomenal. It also has a little slot cut in the trigger, which grabs your finger right on the middle of the pad. You don't have to worry about missing your finger placement or your finger sliding off while you're ripping reps off. Anyways, the frame has this checkering on it that is a phenomenal texture. It really grabs your thumb whenever you try to place your high thumbs grip on the pistol. It grabs your thumb, helps you drive the gun, keep the gun nice and level and push it across the different targets, transition however fast you can. The slide release is extended enough to where I can reach it with my thumb without adjusting my grip. The safety is the only place that I have any issues with this pistol. So it's got this nice ledge safety on it on both sides. It's ambidextrous. It feels great, but it's a little less tactile than what I would want. So as I push that down, I really like a 1911 style safety where you push the safety down and you can hear and feel the click. You know that that safety went off, you push it back up and you know that it went back on. This doesn't really have that. It, the safety is smooth, it doesn't have a whole lot of resistance, it doesn't really have that snap or that pop into place like a 1911 style safety does. That's a drawback for me and the other drawback about the safety is this ledge is a little too wide, it hits the base of my thumb actually one of the stages in a match that I shot this thing in the first stage of the day I was having trouble I was gripping the gun a little too high and pushing the safety into my thumb I couldn't get the safety turned all the way off but that's my error uh, the more reps I got on this thing the better I was about keeping my thumb out of the way of the safety it is what it is the more reps you put in the more training the better you're gonna be with the pistol that you're shooting so from the safety let's go ahead and move down the magazine release right here is fantastic the spring does not feel gritty at all the tension is perfect it's just enough to be able to get a hold of without being so much that you can hit it with your grip uh, it's also reversible so you can switch it to lefty if you need to the grip has g10 grips on it those feel great they have like a golf ball dimple texture to them man they really grip your hand on the front of the grip here you also have this checkering uh, that helps keeping your hand in place while you're shooting, which leads me to talk about this undercut. This undercut is phenomenal. It lets you keep your hand nice and high on the grip, which then leads to the beaver tail. The beaver tail keeps you from getting too high and getting slide bit, right? Nobody wants to get slide bit, especially with as low as the slide sits in the frame. Now, you heard me mention about shooting in a competition. I did shoot this in a three-gun match. Went down to GMSA and shot a local three-gun match down there. Had a phenomenal time. The only time I had an issue with anything with this pistol was the first stage of the day. That safety was just hitting my fat on my thumb there. And 
was keeping me from being able to turn it all the way off. You'll see, I'll put the, I'll put the match footage up right now. So on that long range stage, it was a really fun stage. The first two targets were a 50 yard pistol target and a 70 yard pistol target. Once I figured out that I needed to slow down and like not jerk the trigger, you know, uh, I went two for two at 70 yards with this thing. So that just shows you this gun is extremely accurate. And as long as you put in the time to have the skills and abilities, it would probably be worth it for you to have a pistol like this. That leads me into talking about the price point. So this Phoenix Redback Ultralight is about $3,600. And while you're probably thinking, that's pretty steep, let's compare that to some other competition pistols on the market. One other thing I need to mention before we wrap this thing up, this pistol comes with four 17 round magazines. So you come out of the box ready to rock, and like I said earlier, it takes CZ-75 mags, so you can find magazines basically anywhere you want. And they're not that expensive. Uh, it also comes with a cleaning kit, a little cleaning kit. It's pretty neat. Uh, everything you need to, if you want to strip this thing down and clean it. I've put about 350 rounds, maybe 400 rounds through this thing, and haven't had a single malfunction, stoppage, issue, anything like that. With reliability, it just runs like a clock. Good reference back to what I said earlier about Swiss watches. Anyways, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for checking out this video. If you're interested in one of these Phoenix Redbacks, check out the Sportsman's Loft. That's the only place you can really get them from because they're the only importers, like I said earlier. Anyways, on that note, let's wrap it up. My name's Dakota. Thanks for watching, and make yourself better today. We'll see you. This is only like the fifth time I've tried to film this. I've had problems with my camera, so I'm freaking happy about it. This is great. Take a deep breath.